Can we call directly the API of Superbase? The answer is yes, and this is what I'm going to show you in this course. I'm under my project, and what I'm going to use to call my own project is Postman. So the first thing we need to do is to go under the project settings, and I'm going to go under the data API here. I got everything that I need to build my query. I have a new query open on Postman, and the first thing I'm going to copy paste here is the URL of my project because I want to query my own project. So I'm going to go here. I'm just going to copy paste here my project name. But this is not the only thing I need to do. What I need to do is here on the URL is to type slash rest slash v1. All right. So here I'm going to use a postgres basically coming from here at Superbase that provides me an access directly to Postgres to query my Postgres instance. So it's done. Now I will need here my Anon public key or my service wall key. Be safe, the service wall key, we're going to make a dedicated video about it to build the authorization header. Because if I call directly here my API like this, it's not going to work. It's going to tell me, hey, you need an API key. OK, so now it's done. I'm going to go to authorization. and I'm going to click here on beer token. OK. And here I'm just going to copy paste my actual token. But this is not enough. What I need to do is to go to my headers here and type here API key and copy paste the exact same value. All right, this is done. So now if I try to call again, I'm not going to have anything because I'm not query querying anything. What I want to show you is that here, if I go to my table editor, I got my orders table, right? And there is no RLS policy set up so far, OK? So if I type slash orders, I'm supposed to get all my orders, OK? So take a look at that. It works. I got all the data coming here from the table orders. All right, because there is no RLS policies. Here, we enable the RLS policy. And I'm going to try to query again my orders. And we can see it's empty because I didn't set up any RLS policy. Uh, for uh, this table yet. That's what I'm going to do in another course. So as you can see, you can definitely call a Superbase instance if you got the token that you need directly here inside Postman or inside your app. Be safe. On Superbase, you got what we call an SDK. It's basically a library that is doing the job for you. Please better use the SDK instead of the direct call here. If you want to query your project, it's always better to use the SDK.